Hey guys, so we're just going to do a quick um, impromptu video here. I was about to go into a store. I was letting Elsa go to the bathroom in one of the planters. Unfortunately, someone has spit their gum out in one of the planters and so she has gum all over her foot. So today's going to be kind of a hack how-to video on what I do when my dog gets gum all over her foot. All right, so what I got here is just a little packet of peanut butter. These are good to have on you in case this ever does happen. So just a little travel packet of peanut butter. And I also have some paper towels down here. So what I'm gonna do is basically open this up and push this all through her paw and get it all over the gum so that the oils in it will help release the sticky gum off of her hair um, on her paws so that I'm not ripping it off of her paws and ripping hair out. All right, so here I have her sitting up, and uh, you probably can have your dog laying down. It's probably more comfortable, but for this video, I just have her sitting up so they can reach her paw. I'm also in my car, so we didn't have a lot of room for her to just lie down. Um, I do recommend you do this outside. Um, it does make a little bit of a mess. Here, I'm just going to give her a little bit of a treat with the peanut butter. You can continue to do that throughout your this process. Um especially if it's your dog's first time having to do this. But you got to be very careful that you do not have any cross-contamination with the peanut butter packet and the gum because you don't want your dog getting any gum. So here I'm, of course, correcting her because she's trying to lick her paw, and we don't want that at all because we don't want them to have any chance of getting any gum um, because it is very toxic for them. So right here I'm just pushing it into her paw. Uh, all around the peanut butter, letting the oil saturate the gum so that I can uh, scrape it off, basically what I end up doing with my thumb, just slowly scraping it off in little bits um, to get everything out. Um, you typically are going to need to do this like twice. Um, so either have a large bottle of water that you can rinse it off with or go into a public restroom if your dog is a service dog and um, or go into the restroom at like a Petco so you can rinse your dog's paw off um, just make sure to clean up after yourself real good so yeah that's basically all I'm doing is get making sure I get the peanut butter in all over her paw and slowly start removing the gum but typically you will have to rinse it off once and you'll probably see one or two pieces that you've missed and you'll have to redo those two little spots. And then you can rinse it off again and you are good to go. Um, as you can see though, this is extremely messy. Um, another thing you could probably use is some wipes. If you have some wipes in your car, that will be a good option as well. So as you can see, that's what's coming out. Mainly little rocks and sticks and stuff and the gum. Um, so this is afterwards, um, after I've rinsed it off. One thing that you would, you can do to help make this process go more smoothly is all of the fur in between your dog's paws. Um, keep it short and trimmed. Uh, Elsa needs to be trimmed and unfortunately that made this process a little harder because the gum has more to get tangled in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.